Okay. You're in the server? Yep. Alright. Very good. So, we will need to buy a baler, I guess. Hey, four hands in a tin can. What's up, dude? You should have money now, too, by the way. Ah, uh, yes, I do. Thank you very much. Alright. I did add the mowers, too, which you probably noticed anyway, but we won't really need them, but they're there. Oh, they're, they're wider than the other ones by nearly a metre. Oh, nice. I brought the baler just in case you're wondering. And I have found another thing that um, the little uh, Massey Ferguson can do. Yeah. It's only $12,000 for that baler. That's cheap. There's a bale fork. Um, it goes on the rear of the tractor, so it can, I can actually pick up bales with it. Oh, nice. <laughs> yeah. Hopefully Nightbot doesn't ban you. Well, that's probably going to be a good thing. Uh, are you closer to the... You are. Did you want to grab the baler or what did you want to do? Um, I can go and grab the baler. Okay. Um, I've got to go down there anyway because I need a set of forks. What tractors have you got up there? I've got the Fent, the 240 horsepower one with the loader, and then I've got the John Deere that I normally drive, or there's the Massey Ferguson. Okay. Um, you may have even left the 7R up here, I'm not really sure. Yeah, I was just trying to figure out where I left that. I think you've left it up here, to be honest. Oh, I found it. I hear it. Here it is. Yep, I... Oh. The stupid horn. Thanks for the host, Dan. I appreciate it, man. Yeah, I'm probably going to head down there and grab a set of bale forks. Oh, sorry. That's all right. Good thing there's no fucking... Oops. Do you know where you're going? Um, well, normally when I head that way, I just head over this way and sneak through the fence at the top of the hill. Can you guys not hear me? This is an issue. You should be able to. I had sound when I test streamed. Chat isn't confirming. Oh, they can hear me? Okay. Can you guys hear Jay-Z? Frost has said he can hear me perfectly, so that's good. I did buy a bale trailer, didn't I? Uh, yeah, I think I saw one in the main yard. Okay. I was pretty sure I brought one. I, I can pick that up as well on the way. I just got to go and grab some bale forks. Because the Fend has some on them, but I like to make sure the colour coding's right, so... And I put that new pack in, so I was actually probably going to get a set of them. Yeah, good idea. 100% audio and visual. Well, that's good to know. Up to 10 viewers on Twitch so far, so that's good. It's about the same as YouTube, which is good. Yeah, try refreshing. We had to refresh ourselves when we were testing. And we're just driving in here because I'm messaging while driving. got taken out by that guy. 
Yeah, I got down to the store and there was like a traffic jam because the AI couldn't figure out what the hell it was trying to do. Oh, okay. <laughs> Good old AI. I'll say. Does that bale look okay? That's not too bad. It looks a bit older, but it's not horrible. Yeah, it's um... It seems to be okay. I had a quick look at it on single player this afternoon. I guess we'll find out. We're about to use it. Yep, we'll see what happens. We will. We will. We will. Guess I better buy an attachment. We don't need a bucket or a grab, we need... Pallet fork, pallet fork, pallet fork. There's like so many different kinds of pallet fork. Yeah, there were quite a few on that pack actually. Bale fork with spikes, bale fork round bales. That there's there's bale fork with spikes. I think you can um, pick up two, or maybe it's the bale fork extra elevation. I think I'll just go the bale fork with spikes. To be honest, well, we can have a look at it. We'll have a look. I was hoping it could be green, but it can only be black. But that's okay. It's okay. It's just with the standard ones, you can only pick up one at a time, otherwise it goes over the top. Yeah. Yeah, we can pick up probably two with this one, so that's not too bad. It's kind of realistic. Doesn't look too bad. Um, have you crashed? Oh, you're washing your tractor. Know, just cleaning it. <laughs> Yeah, just, just blocking up the road causing more of a traffic jam. Well, I have my flashing lights on, which means I can do what I want. <laughs> yeah, the baler even has its own little one. Of course. Um, so which... oh jeez. So which paddock um, do we need? Um, so it was... Jeez. Oh, Paddock 23 and Paddock 30, I believe. I know it was 23. I think 30 was the other one. You, you oh, wanted to bail? Yeah, I'll go and start on 23. Okay. 23 is going to be the longest. Yeah, we'll do that and then... I suppose you raked them all, didn't you? Mm -hmm. They're both raked. So I can start picking up bales as we go if we have to. What's the top speed on the 7R? Uh, 53 by the looks. Yeah, that's why you're pulling away from me a little bit. Alright, we're going to grab the bale trailer. you figure out whether that bale trailer you chose has the autoload script? What do you mean? 
like you can drive it past the bales and it picks them up. No, this one won't. This one you have to will have to actually load them on there. Because judging by the looks of it, yeah, we'll have to load them manually onto this one. So that'll be fun. Yep. Oh uh, well. There is the original square bale picker upper, but it's it picks up like sixteen at a time, and it's a quick way of doing it. But I guess this is more of old school the way we're going to do it. Yeah, I don't think I ever saw a um, automatic bale loader. I never have. In life. I've never seen one. I pretty much only ever seen the one that I've got on the back now. I don't know why I've suddenly got two two camera views going on here. What's up with that? What is up with that? Don't know what's going on there. Um, you just showed the multiplayer password on the stream. Did I? Yeah. Oh uh, well, that's okay. No one join, okay. Well, I can deny them anyway from joining. Oh, that's fair enough. I get that fancy little thing that comes up saying always ban or accept or deny. Yeah, and it actually shows the person who's trying to join's IP address as well, so... Yeah, it actually it does do that too. This is a very narrow freaking path for this trailer that I've got. Yeah, the, the baler only just fit up that road. Oh, did it? If you try to get, if you try to join, you get banned. Well, it's okay, Frost. If they, if anyone did try to join, because it's it's got the password which I obviously just shown, but I can accept and deny people anyway. So it's not really the biggest deal. Oh, this baler is pretty interesting. Why? Um, when you get to the field, come and jump up on the top of it and have a look. Oh, okay. Is it legit or is it a piece of shit? No, it's legit. They've actually gone to the effort of um, putting a whole bunch of moving parts on the top here that you can see. I don't think I'm actually going to get in this paddock. Uh, nope. Back up. Come on. This isn't good. So close. Come on. Indicator stuck on the bloody fence post there. Yep. And it's one of them ones that swivel the... You know what I mean? That swivel like pieces of shit. Yeah. Oh come on, that has got to be so close. There we go. Yeah. I got through. All right, I'm gonna park up and I'll just come over and have a look. That arm um, trailer has all the tension stuff anyway, so we can tie stuff on. Oh, cool. What did you say, get on top? Oh! Yeah. Wow, you can actually see everything move. Well, I'm keen to watch this thing go, to be honest.
It's doing the 4K bail and stuff. Um, I believe so. Good, alright. That's what I like to hear. Yep, right on four. I think round bales would have just been a complete pain. On the they're just map. they're just too small. That's the reason I won't use them. I love round bales, but I just they're too small for me. But I do hear what you're saying. love to do this first person but I'm just not feeling very confident and I can't stay over the front of the tractor anyway yeah it's pretty much impossible just because there's no depth perception realistically I could see down the sides and stuff but yeah exactly with farming sim it's a little bit tricky yeah we can easily carry two on that I'm going to turn the cruise control down to like 10 so I can get around the corner without having to throttle jankly. I don't mind this bale fork though that we got. Probably should. It's pretty decent, actually. Probably should wait till you're done, so I'm just not running it all over. But yeah, it'll be all right. Yeah, it would be all right realistically too, but I'd be also flattening it. I'm trying to load this up properly so we can get as much on the trailer as we can. I tell you what, the John Deere. You know how sometimes you can load stuff up with two bales and it'll start to rock and roll in the back end? Yeah. It's not feeling too bad on this trend, though. I wasn't flying around, though, but it didn't feel too bad. Does this have a lock on it? Uh, Customizing equipment, change tool. In enable automatic loading. Press, press that. Is that for the trailer? No, it must be for your fork. No, it was for, it dropped it. Round bale not in stack except square bale. Bloody hell. I'm a little confused. Yeah, I'm just looking at that control panel that you've got up on the stream now, and I've not seen anything like that before. Enable. That's for the tractor. Okay, I'm not quite sure. I've never had that pop up before. That's interesting. Customizing equipment. Left control. Functions available near the. So that's for the bail fork. Change collision. Change block attach. Control B. I don't know what that's doing. Disable automatic loading transporting position. Ah, oh, fucked if I know. Did it change? I don't think that did anything, did it? Control. Hang on, it says I can do stuff near it. Yeah, I get a menu now that I'm standing up. Press O for off. safety pins. Oh, the safety pins are coming out. Loosen spikes, raise pile. 
What the feck? This is interesting. Hang on, if I open the safety pins... Did you push them closed? No. Oh, I can raise... Oh, yeah. Change difficulty level. I don't think we need it to be difficult. <laughs> no. Okay, I, I'm just gonna roll with it. I've made the spikes higher, though. Oh, well, no, you can go for three bales at a time. I feel like... I can move the spikes over is maybe what it was meaning. Yeah, potentially. I mean, that's not doing anything, though. I'm going to try that really quick. If I open the safety pins... Loosen spikes. Move spikes inward. Keypad one. Yeah, I can move them in. That's cool. Close latches. Close safety pins. Okay. That's interesting. You were watching that too? Yeah, I was watching it on your stream. I've never... Okay, that's cool though. You are right though, I can now carry three bales at a time. Have you noticed my screen, it's doing that weird thing like I go in and then for some reason it goes in that view and then this view. It wasn't doing it yesterday. That's what has me confused. Oh yeah, I see. Uh, don't know. Me either. I've just figured out what auto stacking does. Does it just pick them up? Yeah. I don't even have to lower the loader. I'm not sure if I like that. Oh yeah, I just saw that happen. I've just picked up three auto only. I mean, they're locked on there though. I just wish it was a little more realistic. I wonder if there's a setting to turn off auto load. Yeah, I can turn it off. Yeah, this stacker was meant. This bale fork was meant to carry three because it says it's at its limit. Oh, I see. Which is fine. I mean, we're all learning new stuff here because this is a new bale fork, so. Unload bales here. So we'll take them off. Disable auto... Yeah, I turned off auto bailing and then it's got transport position. What's that? Oh! Um, it folds up the forks. Oh. See that? Oh, yeah. Wow. This is it's actually a pretty decent mod. There's all kinds of technology with this thing. I would just rather stick the forks in the bale myself, though. Yeah, it does look a bit fake when they just 
teleport themselves onto the fork. Yeah. I agree. I do agree with that statement. How many rows have you got left to go? Um, about six by the looks. Plus like half a headland at this end of the field. Yeah. The auto load did do it a lot straighter than I do, though. Which was bound to happen. Yeah. But then again, they're never completely, perfectly straight in real life, are they? Nope. The um, auto stacker does one thing that I do like. It locks the bales on. Yeah, that's that's a good thing. Because currently they're sliding. And that's all down to dodgy farming sim physics. Yeah, I'm hoping that's something they'll fix because technically it's a lot tighter than that. a little jank but anyway have a gap at the back. Yeah, it doesn't look like it's designed to fit four rows. No. No, it doesn't. might fit one more stack of three um, turned 90 degrees behind the others, possibly. I might even be able to lower that rear bar, to be honest. Some trailers you can. Yeah, that's true. Bit of luck, this might be one of them. Actually, gonna see if I can lower that bar. Um, no, by the looks of it, I can't. I 
That doesn't have a bail counter, does it? Uh, no. I think we have to install a mod for that. Uh, let me just have a quick look at something. I put the auto back on just because it locks it. Um, I'm just trying to make it look legitimate though. If it, but I'm thinking it's not going to. Yeah, it's just gonna pop them on. Uh, yeah, it'll. Yeah. I think because I've enabled it now, I have to use it until I unload. So. As legitimate as it looks. I just like how they locked on there, that was all. It just doesn't look legit, is my issue. Disable it. Yeah, it's pretty funny looking at the trailer, seeing the ones that have been loaded with and without. Yeah, I was only I only retried it just to see if it was locking with that with that on, but it does. But it just doesn't lock the bail on. But it just looks so unlegit that I don't want to use it. Square bales don't really get used or done where I live, though. Yeah, square bales this size definitely don't. It's pretty much always round bales. Yeah, I know it does down some of the end, other ends of the coast of where I live, but not where I live. They're always round. You're happy that I'm streaming on Twitch today, um, Frost? You are very good. We'll still do Twitch from time to time. Oh, they nearly came flying off. Yeah, that's. Um... Oh, they're wobbling like fuck. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Yeah, if you ever try um, doing anything with front-end loaders on a multiplayer server where you're not the host, there's like a slight bit of delay and um, Shit just anytime toggles. The, yeah, anytime the ping jumps up, the bales go flying off the front of the fork and then just teleport back on again. Uh, okay. 
trying to narrow that little gap down here because the tighter the bales are the less chance of them falling but then if one falls they all go but so every time you um, make changes to that bale fork it um, like it lags for me for a split second and um, the tractor and baler keep going but the bales stop so like tractor and baler drive and the bales are just sort of floating in midair above the field then they shoot back into the back of the baler uh, gotcha. <laughs> it's quite funny um, that being said that is the end of the baling I think you only did two paddocks of hay didn't you yeah there is the fence there if you do want to pick up some bales you don't have to but there is another tractor there with a bale fork Oh, we don't want them one strapped on actually. What map? This is the West Coast, is what it's called. You were surprised when I streamed on Twitch. Yeah. I was going to do it at some stage. Um, I love those straps. be nice if they um, made them not so bright orange. The straps? Yeah, just make them look a little bit weathered. Yeah, it is a pretty cool map I play all. Uh, me and JC here, we really enjoy this map a lot actually. I know I definitely do. Did you play with Alex today? Nah. I was way too late to his stream. I was there for about 10 minutes and he ended it and I was like, ah, oh, bugger. Yeah, I saw that. I was like, ah, oh, poor Tom. Yeah. Uh, well, I had a feeling it might have happened. I tried. I got there at the end, though. Yeah, he was, um... He was doing a bit of fixing mods, changing the code and stuff on the stream, so the server wasn't on line when I got home from work. Yeah. Otherwise I probably would have joined, but by the time he got it all up and running again, I could see he was only going to stream for another half an hour, so I was like, oh, I'll just watch. Ah, uh, okay, gotcha. Our silage has fermented by 6%. Good. Well, here we go. Trailer is just about full. Are you, are you jumping in the fence? Yep, just jumped in. Now. Okay. Well, if you want to keep loading that trailer, I can carry three at a time. So while you're loading the last three on that trailer, I can still cut three at a time down to the wherever we're going to put them. Yeah, I was just thinking, where are we going to put them? Yeah, that's why I was going to go down there. At my 8k an hour. Uh, yeah, you don't want to go much faster than that around the corner. Realistically, guys, we could drive a little bit faster, but unfortunately with Farming Simulator, if I go any faster, these bales are just going to fall off, so we're just going to stick at about eight. You can't get through that gateway. I can now. I mean, we could go and put a little a little front-end loader on the Massey. Yeah, I think it would probably end up over to be honest. I think it would tip over on one bay to be honest. I wouldn't yeah. I wouldn't mind putting the bale forks on the back that I downloaded though, because it could I could carry one of them I reckon. 
yeah, you'd be able to carry one at a time. Jeez, this is ridiculous. 2k an hour around this corner because I know what will happen. Yeah, where we're going to put these is a very good question. Well, down and the dairy farm is obviously going to be the best place. I would agree. The road I'm is just going to be... That pit. Oh, yep. And that's what happens when you just hit the brakes. Just a, just a tad, they um create issues like that. Well, this one's just sitting here. Look at this. Yeah. Oh, it's grabbed on the fork by just the tiniest little bit. Um. I was just going to look at... I know there's a barn on my side as well. Well, in here is where they're actually going to need to go once we've got some cows. Yes, that's correct. But I don't mind if they're a, a little bit away. As long as we can get some in cover, we'll be good. I'm just trying to see what we've got over here. We've got that machine. We've got that shed there, but I think there's another one of them sheds on your side as well. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I reckon this shed. What do you reckon? This one over here? Well... I was just wondering if it would be easier just to leave them on the trailer and just park it in this shed over here until we actually get the cows. Uh, no, we'll just unload them, get it over and done with. I think that'll work. Alright, maybe we could put them here. Just might be a little bit annoying trying to manoeuvre around this shed over here. I'm going to put them in that shed that you're at, but I reckon when we come in with the trailer, we'll just park straight in here and we'll just have to unload. Oh, yeah, I suppose if I park the trailer here, you could unload them. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking, because you can do a U-turn in that paddock that's up ahead. We're slowly figuring this out. It's just it's all a bit narrow. That's the issue. Which is okay. Cruise control to four for obvious reasons. I've done something in the graphics when I was trying to change um, windowed mode because um, I don't have any mirrors either. I got, uh, I've got mirrors, sorry, but not my. Um, I can tell by the beacons not flashing off anything. Yeah, perhaps you've. Um, I'd say I've bumped something. Yeah, probably turned the quality settings of something down by the sounds of things. physics are stupid. Yep. I feel like YouTube has a more accurate viewer count though. Potentially. Seems to be jumping up and down quite a bit. I keep saying there's like seven and then there's two and... I'm not sure how many people are actually watching.
Trying to get these bales on top of each other straight as I can. Well, at least one of those views is going to be me because I have the stream running on my other monitor. Oh no, there is two viewers. Frost just did the nightbot shit. Must just be Frost then. Yeah, I guess it's just you and Frost. At least it's actually possible to handle bales on multiplayer with you, because, yeah. It's I, not too bad for you at the moment? Nah, uh, it's all good for me. But on the servers, like when I go on multiplayer, which are run from the dedicated servers, which are pretty sure are somewhere in the UK or Europe, it's just impossible to do anything with a front end loader. Yeah. Well, I'm glad you can do somewhat. But yeah, this this fork can definitely only pick up one bale at a time. Yeah. I think I'll go and drag this trailer down now. Yep, sounds good. Oh, that's not straight at all. Just not happy with that. She's all on there. Yep, that should do the trick. Oops. Turn around and walk into a bale spike. Yeah, was, there we go. I'll do that one for you. I think you can just do the whole lot in one click from the cab of the tractor. Oh. That seems Let's legit. See. Well. You can? Yeah, you can. Oh, jeez, you really can. At least I got all of them that time. There's going to be exactly nine bales here, I believe. Oh, yeah. Looks like it. I'm not seeing any others. I did think about adding some music to the stream, but I don't know, well, I don't know how to do it, but also, I'd end up probably singing the whole time as well. <laughs> yeah, um, your thoughts would get destroyed as well. Yeah, I wouldn't be able to upload it to YouTube either. Yeah, 
that would not go on YouTube and your VODs would get muted. Like, most of Alex's streams, they're kind of like, you have to be there on the day because of his music. Yep. But, I mean, when you're actually there on the day, it does make the stream quite a bit better. And it's a mixture of his music taste, I think. Oh, it was great when I got on early and they were listening to, um, uh, what's it called? It was at the end of the stream, um... Oh, yeah, he did that on purpose. What was the song called? Can't remember. Um, Love is in the Air. Yeah, Love is in the Air, that's it. I am coming to unload that for you, by the way. Cool, I've only just sort of got into the yard, I just about... When I did my U-turn, I just about ended up yeah. on the side. You haven't seen Dusty's destroyed over the music? Oh, that's interesting. My luck if I did it, it would, though. I think it depends on the volume of the music. Like, if it's... If it's loud enough, then the algorithms or the bots or whatever it is they use to pick it all up they pick it up but if it's um if it's quieter then it seems to be all right yeah okay this is the most delicate driving ever <laughs> you don't know until you try i guess Oh, okay, Frost. Oh, they're all rocking and rolling, and it's just, it's so jank. Yeah, that's looking pretty precarious there. It's like going back and forth. I just threw it in gear and away I went. Oh, that one's actually came through. Yeah, it's glitched through those bars now. That's legit. Actually, speaking of gears, that's one thing I wish Farming Simulator would add. Some gears to the tractors. Yeah, tractors and trucks. Trucks especially, because they just sound ridiculous. What a shit spot for that to friggin' do that, to be honest. <laughs> You're back, Dan. That's good. I'm a bit worried the way these bales all seem to be jiggling around on the trailer as if they're trying to fall off. They're not moving for me. Not noticeably, anyway. I've strapped them back down again just in case. Okay. Yeah, actually looking at them on this side, they've all slid over towards the shed and they're hanging over the edge of the trailer ever so slightly. I'm trying to see through that bush. Fucking physics. Yeah, this just isn't going so good, but it's all good. Jeez, we could cut this tree down. Yeah, we could. I like that tree, though. Alright, I won't buy a chainsaw and cut it down, then. <laughs> I do like some trees. We're gonna smash that bar. This is so jank. It's just done it again. Like, it's just so... It's that top one that's given me the grief. There we go. Yeah, I think that top bar probably doesn't work properly unless you're using that auto. auto yeah, that's what I'm thinking, to be honest. One thing I will admit is rounds are probably easier to stack. I don't know. They're both. It's just the physics, I guess. It's pretty much all it is, is the physics. Yeah, it is. 
Can I fix my settings through here, or is it a settings that I have to go in? I think for graphics settings, you have to do it. Yeah, um, it's through the main bit. The main menu. Yeah, it is. I miss having the beacons um, reflecting and stuff. You taking the straps off? Well, I'm attempting to. It seems to not be working. There we go. The ball. Hi, how's it going, dude? Welcome to the stream. You like the map? We do too. It's a really nice map. This is very tight. <laughs> it's like, there's, doesn't matter which view I go, there's something obstructing. Oh. Oh, you've got auto light turned on. Yeah, I turned it on because I was sick of the bales falling off, but it looks so jank. Doesn't it? It does. But it's just so, it works so much better. I don't know whether to stack these six high or... I don't even know if it's going to fit six high. It should do. We're going to... Yeah, she will, actually. Yeah, that looks fine. I think it was V to... Nope. How do I... R to refuel. Z to unload bales, okay. Trying new things and seeing how we go. Yeah, you definitely must have had a setting because on my screen your beacons are reflecting off like the tree and the other tractor and the side of the barn and everything. On the stream? No, on my screen. On the oh. stream they're not. Yeah, I've definitely hit something because it was definitely doing it yesterday. It was working fully. It must have been just while I was mucking around with the settings earlier. I've done something with a camera view too. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> that, oh dear. that was dicey. Honestly, if there was just a lock for it when it was on self-transport like this, it'd be amazing. I know some bale grabs do it. I know some mods definitely do do it. It's mainly that top bale that's going to... It's given the grief to every fucking time. We might have to stop going... You could always just pick two up off and leave the bottom layer then. Well, technically I'm doing six a stack at the moment, so I probably could get away with that, to be honest. Cruise control. We'll creep that forward. I don't know if we're making this look hard or what we're doing. Well, we're getting there. Slowly. You can go through if you want. I was just going to sort of park this next to the bale 
just so you can get an idea of how big they are compared to this tractor. Oh, well, they're a lot bigger. <laughs> yep. I've got it back on auto because it's just doing my head in. We'll just have to find some bale forks that are more suitable, I guess. Yeah, there'll be some out there. I like these, they're just, they're not practical. I mean, if the G, if the GTA, if the farming sim physics were, p like, corrected, it wouldn't be an issue, but it just is. Yeah, I know. They've had, like, ten years to get the bail physics right, and they still haven't. No, it's, that's right. That's a bit of a shame. So what else do we need for cows? We've got silage on the go, we've got hay. Um, Straw we can sort out because we've got some crops. There's actually two wheat I think that are ready to be harvest. Yeah they are. And water, have you got a water tank? No, but I'm sure we can get one. Oh then we have to go through the whole hassle of doing power food. What do you mean, mix ration? Yeah. Yep. Yeah, we'll have to make some actual, um... Oh, we have hay and silage, so we'll, we'll be right actually, for mixed ration. Yeah. Do you want to add one of those, um, placeable mods to the map, where you can just dump the bales straight in and it mixes it and puts it into a trailer for you, or do you want to actually get one of those mixing trailers we'll just get one of them mixing trailers for now but um I doubt that'll be today because I re I reckon the um trying to get this angle right um the harvesting all that will take a couple of hours I reckon yeah it will It's got the issue of getting around some of these poles. It's very tight. Looks like there's only 11 bales in this field, so um, it's probably not even worth putting them on the trailer, in all honesty. Yeah, we might as well just um, drag them over here, to be honest. I might quickly shoot down to the shop in the vent and get another one of those bale spikes then. Yep, sounds so good. So I can load more than one at a time. Sounds good. And I'll just sell this one because we don't need it. Yeah. That'll work. Alright, that's that loaded. I don't even know if we get that trailer in that gateway, to be honest. In all honesty. Ah, oh, yeah, we would, because we can do the whole loop. Yeah, you have to do the loop first, I would think. Yeah, it's what I did. I love how this grass is... Paddock 21 is pretty much already grown back. Yeah, have you got the growth on fast or something? It's on normal. 
Maybe you should just put it to slow because that is still a bit too fast, really. Yeah, it is actually. It's on slow now. You know what this kind of reminds me of? This bale fork. Um, it kind of reminds me of that auto square baler trailer. The way it loads it up. Oh yeah. It's like it picks it up from the bottom and pushes it up when it's in auto mode. Yeah. It's kind of I the vibe I get. Could have made the auto load a bit better. Yeah, I'm sure there's a mod out there that does it better, like a set of forks. Because I know in 15 I had one that you know we could do it how we were doing it, but once they were on, you can actually lock them. Yeah. Otherwise, it's just impossible to do it how we were doing it. But then it just looks jank as hell the way we are doing it. Why can't I unload the bales? Because we're um, you're not selected on the right thing. Yep, I don't think. Nope, I'm not. Just figured that out. I don't remember. Oh, I did press G because I put that trailer on. All right, Frost. say I do quite like these Fent tractors to be honest. Yeah, that's what I was very happy when they added them to 17 the Fent class. Put the Fent fleet in. Yeah, I actually kind of prefer this brighter green colour that they use on these ones. I don't know if you remember the green that they used on the yeah they, I, we had an old one on the farm I used to live on with dad and um it was dark like it was a very dark green yeah it's like that old looking dark green color yeah I used to love that fent though I figured out how I'm gonna do this to make it look more realistic I've stacked them up three and then oh, I yeah, and then I'm putting it on auto and then I'll just it still looks a bit unlegit, but it's somewhat more legit. Because the way that I'm doing it, it's just the way that we were doing it is probably the is the better way to do it, but it's still unlegit because you can go faster than what we were going. Yeah. Oh, I like the way that you can change the attacher type on these um, things. What do you mean? Like when you buy the bale fork, it asks you whether you want it to work with a front loader or a tail oh, handler or yes. a loader. It did give me that option. That is quite nice because it's always annoying when you go and find a nice mod, but it doesn't work with the implement you want it to. Yeah, or you buy it and then realise it doesn't actually go on the thing that you want. And you'd like, especially if you've saved up the money for it, because you don't get that price back. Nope. How did you put it into, um... Auto? No, um... 
transport mode. Uh, oh, I see. Hang on. X was transporting position. Yeah, X. Uh, yeah, the, the, um, the modders have, like, used the same buttons for a controller that do other things, so as soon as I try and change it with the controller, it just jumps in the tractor instead. Uh, okay. Are you nearly back? Um... No, I'm just trying to fold up the bale spikes at the moment. There's only two bales left. <laughs> uh, yeah. uh, I kind of thought that might be about to happen. I was um I was getting pretty quick. Yeah, I suppose it goes a lot quicker when you're picking up three at a time. Yeah. Yeah, it definitely beats picking up one at a time. But at least we have um yours for next time. Yeah, exactly. Do the semi legit unlegit stuff and away we go. Oh shit, there's a river there. That was close. This John Deere must be quite heavy in the back because it had rocks from time to time but it hasn't really rocked at all yeah I would say that the weight of the bales wouldn't be modelled correctly either well uh, what do you mean because they were in the modded baler oh no I mean like um standard bale and giants seems to be you know like as if it's weighing 25 kilos or something yeah uh, well i mean on the smaller tractors i've seen it rock them so that's what i was kind of going off but you might be right as well i'm gonna leave them two for you to pick up so you can have a feel for that all right i'm just um attempting to find my way back as the story usually is. Oops. I love the way if you hit something that you can't go through the whole tractor just bounces backwards. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? It's starting to get later in the game. Yeah, if you go to the top of, um, I think it's, like, paddock 18 and look out towards the sea, it's quite a nice, um, sunset. Do you know what I just figured out? You know how it's having the camera issue, how it's doing the three camera modes? Yeah. It's that bail fork, I just took it off and now it's fine. Ha. Huh. That's interesting. Um, I don't think there's anything from this side of the farm we have to take over to the other side, is there? 
Uh, I don't believe. Possibly one of the tractors. That's about it, because I think all the big tractors are up there at the moment. I know there's the. Oh, there's one John Deere back at the big farm. I'll take still. the 7R with me then. Yeah, because if we're going to be hauling a trailer full of crop, then that six probably won't cut it. Oh my goodness. Take a look on the map and see where I've ended up. I don't even see you. Look up towards the top right. Oh yeah, I see you're in the foresty forestry area. Yes, I'm trying to find my way back out. Do you know what you're doing up there? Uh, you could say that. Alright, find the 7R. May have gone slightly better for me if I'd decided to follow the roads, but... That's very true. I, I think I've just bit. about found my way back. I'm good. Which paddock did those bales end up on? Thirty. Ah. When are we getting Rainbow with the squad? What do you mean, Frost? When am I planning on playing it again? Is that what you're saying? Um, if that's what you're getting at, soon, hopefully. It's just trying to find a day when we're all not so busy and we've all got time to get on there. You know what? What? That having a second camera will probably come in extremely handy because you can. Yeah, that's awesome. So if you um, go into the first third person view, you can rotate the camera around to the side so that you've got a side on view and then leave the main camera behind so you've got your normal view and then you can just tap between side on and behind without having to actually move the camera for when you're doing bales and stuff you can have the ta two camera modes up at once nah just one after the other but oh. um, you don't have to like use the mouse to move between the different camera modes Yeah. With Tyler and everyone. Yeah, we'll do that frost eventually, I reckon, my dude. Oh, and you also, you know what? The first camera mode uh, seems to be locked to the front loader, so when I move the front loader around, the camera automatically moves up and down and tracks it. Ah... Uh... I didn't even really muck around with it. Where the fuck yeah, is this trailer? Oh, there it is. It's like, where the fuck's the trailer? It's all good, I found it. Are you back at the main farm? Yeah. Alright. Um, I think I'll leave this vent up here.
I think we have an issue. Um, yeah, I've just looked at what's happening on your stream. Um. <laughs> it might be an idea to sell that header and get one of the ones that's got the built-in trailer. Bugger! Because then you can actually tow it. You're never gonna get it around this. I map. can't. I can't even get through that first fucking bit. Yeah, and most so of the slammed into a power pole. And most of the gates are um singles too. Yeah. I'd recommend you sell that and just get the um. Uh, if you bring up the shop menu on the stream, I'll tell you which one it is. Um, I'm just wondering, do we just get a whole new harvester? No, the harvester's fine. You can just put a different header on it. That's very valid. Let's sell it. Well, can you get a trailer actually for it? Is what I want to know. can get a trailer for them, but it's a big pain to use them. Then you have to tow it around as well. Yeah. Yeah. So in the headers, if you go right over to the end, there's the... Um, I can't remember what it's called. I'll just wait for it to show up on your stream. And your stream just started buffering. What an amazing timing. Um, so... How do you know if it's got a trailer on it? Um, there's only a couple that do. I'm pretty sure it's like the last few. So you go right back to the very end of the list again. Um, They're huge. That or I could just buy it for you. I'm going to head down the shop. I wonder if I can... No. Oh. Oh, you jumped out. Yeah, I went and got in the Hilux. Wondering if there was a passenger seat. Wonder if there's one in there. Nope. Are you kidding? It's got fucking four other seats, but sure. Oh well. You can buy a pickup if you want one. Nah. They're not used very often. Love how this does like 150. Yeah. Excuse me. Coming through. Feels right. It feels weird driving on the correct side of the road in this game. Yeah, I keep going and driving on the bloody American side of the road. Yeah, same. All right. So does this have a Oh yeah, it's got a tow bar, so um, I'll just open up the shop menu and How much money have you got? Which ones? I've got 357, so I can buy it if you like Yeah, I've got about the same amount I've got about 50,000 more Well, I'll just buy you this And you can take a look and see what you think Is that the Ferguson? Um, it's a case no, it's a case There's no Ferguson one, but it'll work and I'll just see if you can tie it with this. There is a fur, got it. It's a seven point. Or is that the one we had? That's the one we had. Yeah, the fur ones, they don't have the trailers built in. Not even the Powerflow 35 foot? Not that I'm aware of. Fuck it, I'll buy it. I'm pretty sure it's just the ones that. Where did that go? Minor flex ones. Does it have a trailer? Oh, I can see. No. That's okay. Oh, there you go. Looks like we're stuck with the case then. Oh, Jesus. Gonna get run over here. You can drive it back if you like. Oh, driver. It'd be cool Actually, if you could... One. What's up? Before you go, there's one thing I want to try. Um, 
That's fucking long. Let's get some fertilizer. Where did that end up? Uh, um, um, can you see a little yellow yep. bag of. Oh, there. You gonna put it in the back? Yep. These things lag so much on um, Alex's server when I pick them up. If you watch my stream, that just went over the fucking bonnet of the car. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it did here as well. As soon as it touches something, it sort of. Hey, Sean, welcome to the stream, dude. Do we, we can get more than one bag? Yeah, true. But I was just gonna try one thing. Um, see if this works. Nope. Okay. Um, yeah, on Alex's stream, he put a bunch of those in the back of the truck and then put the um, the strap over it. Mm -hmm. And then he accidentally picked up one of the bags and it just lifted the entire truck and sent it flying up into the sky. Oh, shit. Like, if it touches something, it, like, causes issues. Yep. Can I rotate it? Nope. Do you want any cow or pig feed? No. Um, We're good. Okay, I'll okay. get... I got get the a couple of bags of seeds. I've got a couple well. over here if you want to grab one. Oh, now we have three. That's okay. I was just like, while we're here, we could always just load up, so... That was kind of my yeah. reasoning. To it, to be honest. Yeah, there's always next time, Sean, man. It's not the end of the world, dude. It's unlucky, though, but... You'll be good. I don't know when you can apply next, dude. I'm not really sure. Ugh. So fucking temperamental. I keep pushing the wrong bloody button on my controller to pick it up as well. Oh, yours just went flying. There it goes. <laughs> yep. Oh, and the bloody... Trailer disconnected. Will the, do the tension things work on that? I don't know. Guess we're gonna find out. Yep. Um, if you want to reposition, I'll attach the trailer for you. Perfect. Yep. Right, I'll see you back at the farm. Sounds good, I'll be a little bit because this trailer is so friggin' wide. Well, not wide, it's long, I should say. That's legit having the bags in the back, though. I like that. Yeah, the thing is that if we try and load that um, that green and orange cedar that we've got, it's probably going to load them by about 3%. Yeah, well, I'm going to zip that mod. I don't know if you saw it, the one that I downloaded, the big bag, and you put the forks through the top. And that, oh, it was yeah, like, it was like two ton of bag or three ton of bag or something. Yep. I gotta zip it though. But that'll be what I'll put in. And then, um, that'll kind of help as well a little bit. Oh, you were rejected as well too, Dan. Sorry to hear that, guys. There is always next time though. Looks like it might be a bit of a nighttime harvest. Yeah, it's starting to get that way. It's alright though, the number of lights these harvesters have on. 
I'm not going to worry about unloading the buck just yet. Which paddock are you going for? I've gone down to 12. I could have actually gone to 10, actually, but I went to... Yeah, I went to 12. Okay, I will meet you there. Hang on, what's up here? Paddock 11 has wheat. Oh, Paddock 12 has canola. I wasn't, I didn't, I wasn't aware I even owned Paddock um, 12, but we'll do Paddock 11. Yeah. Is um, that going to work for you if I leave that position there? Or can you not get in now? Um, it'll oh. work. Because I'll just... <laughs> where we're going to plant a new bush there anyway. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> uh. Oh, you didn't do any paragraphs, um, Sean? Yeah, that could be why. And, and not, you don't necessarily have to do a paragraph, but it's just got to be quite detailed about you and stuff, I guess. They want to know about you and stuff. Uh, do you need me to help you with anything? No, I just had to jump down to attach the PTO. You're all good then? Oh, can you not get through? Um, I love the way this header collides on the flipping bushes, but the combine doesn't. Yeah, you'll have to drag it further up into the field. This is going good. gonna be jank because I'm actually gonna have to do a U-turn on the actual canola because I haven't got a whole lot of choice because I just thought it would go over that hedge enough but it didn't yeah oh well they, uh, this farm wasn't really meant for harvesting I don't think nothing's really do you know uh, what I mean it probably wasn't designed for use with uh vehicles and implements this big, but we don't really need to be doing another vintage map, do we? No. It's just an issue with the size of that um, header, but we haven't got a whole lot of choices because you can't. it's hard to cart them around. Hey Drone51, how's it going dude? Welcome to the stream. What were you about to say? I was just going to say, yeah, there's no way you would be able to drive a header around this map without it having a trailer no we have to tow it so unfortunately that's the size we've got it's just the way it is unfortunately yeah but still I'd rather use this header that has the built in wheels than have to actually put it on a header trailer because those things are just horrible yeah I agree absolutely horrible Oh my god, the turning on this thing. How you going, Drome? Oh wow, Frost. How much percentage have you filled up so far? Oh. Um, just got to 15. 
15. Pretty good. I'm pretty good too, dude. I am pretty good myself. Just having some trouble with some of the implements on this farm because they don't fit anywhere, but apart from that, I'm good. It's just every road and gateway so narrow. Yeah, once you actually get on the paddock, it's all right. Yeah, yeah, once you get in there, you're good. I should have actually brought the baler over with me. Yeah, I didn't even think of that. I could have... Um... Well, it was attached to the tractor that I brought over, so I could have technically have just brought it. Oh, actually, maybe I would suggest the loading wagon. Because um, it's less of a piss around trying to... Where are we going to put it, though? That's what I'm thinking. Well, um, you can probably just like fill up one trailer load and dump it at the cows. But then again, until we actually buy the cows, it doesn't let you dump anything there. I'm just going to bail it. We don't have to pick it up today. It can be another job. Yeah. And this combine can oh, well, manage to that, go. That harvester comes all the way back here. I can see you from over here. I don't know if you can see me. Um, I can see where you are on the map, but... You can't visually see me? No. Yeah, okay. I can see you. In that case, you can see that I'm going like three kilometres an hour. Yeah, it didn't look like you were moving very fast. Oh, okay, Frost. Yeah, that's a big application just for Minecraft. At least it's not raining. That would ruin our plans greatly. Yeah, that's true. This Hilux looks amazing. Yeah, it does. With everything crammed in. I mean, we could have fitted more in. We just, um, we didn't really need a whole lot of it. So we just brought some of it just in case. Got one bag that keeps bouncing around. I can just bring the baler over with the Hilux, actually. Yeah, that's true. Or do we need one of the tractors that are over here? What have we got? The Fender and the John Deere over here? No, we should be right over there. There's two tractors over on that side. Yeah, there's a. John Deere 6R over here, so I mean, I think that is probably going to be enough to power the baler. Oh, okay, this Frost. Had no trouble at all. Well, that 6R should pull it no trouble, theoretically. Ozzy loved the Hilux, yep. I'm a bit more of a Ford Ranger fan, but I do love the Hilux. I like the new model. A lot. Did you look for a Ford Ranger mod? No. Nope. I knew the Hilux mod was there, so I just went for it. Enough, fair enough. I don't even know if there would be a Ranger. Yeah, I don't know if there is either. Oh, Jesus. We are flying down this road. I don't know if you're watching the stream, but Jesus. Yeah, I'm just glancing over seeing you. Oh, you'll see me go down flying down that road and the trailer's just pushing the fucking thing. We probably lost that bag, actually. Holy uh, shit. <laughs> yeah, first person was a little scary, actually. Just saw you get airborne at 90. Yeah. Back. Yeah, I had to slow down a fair bit. I didn't even realise I was going so fast. Uh, and of course the AI doesn't stop for vehicles. Nope, he just rammed the shit out of me. Oh yeah, the AI. It's as if you don't exist to them. <laughs> they don't give a fuck. Land Cruiser all the way. Uh, I do like Land Cruisers, yeah. They are a nice ute. Very expensive though. In fact, a um, Land Cruiser is what you might 
no, not a Land Cruiser, a Land Rover is what you'd probably see on a map like this IRL. In the UK, yeah. Yeah, and I'm full. You're full? Yep. Yeah, I'm, I'm nearly back anyway, I'm just pulling up. I timed that not quite so perfectly, but it's okay. Um, is the tractor over there with the... Yep. I must have ran all the way up here, didn't I? Yeah, the John Deere's in here with the little trailer on the back. Go and do a bit of hedge hopping. Alright, whereabouts are you? Uh, oh, you're on, the, you're on the good side, so that's okay. Yeah. Oh, that thing does not stick out enough. Yeah, you'll have to. Um, Is that going to work? Reverse back under it. Oh, yeah, there you go. You prefer the 80 series? We have an 80 series. How much does that fit in there? 8.9 or something? 8,900 or something like that, I think it does. Um, yeah, I think that was about that much. Jeez, we've already, I've already been streaming for nearly two hours. Yeah, farming some streams tend to go on. I didn't even, I don't feel like I've even been on for that long. Yeah, it's crazy, eh? It's I'd, just such a relaxing game. I don't feel like we've accomplished a heap, though. Like we... Oh, we've I suppose we did all the hails, I guess. Paddocks. Yeah. This is accurate. I can't even drive beside you because it doesn't stick out far enough. Because it's got the wrong harvester with the wrong header. Yeah. Which is okay. Yeah. I just think a bigger harvester would be so overpowered for this map. That sunset looks amazing on this map. Yeah, I, I actually just took a screenshot. I'll put it on the photography channel after the stream. Yeah, that looks amazing. This map is amazing. Yeah, hopefully giants can... Um, do something like this, you know. Yes, definitely. You're back, Frost. I hope you're enjoying the stream, Drome. Um, I normally stream on YouTube, so um, my YouTube link should be there somewhere. Um, it's mainly where I stream, but I do come over to Twitch from time to time. So I hope you're enjoying the stream, dude. You're getting, so that was your first run, so you're getting nearly nine, 8599. That's not bad for a one lap, really. Yeah, it would have been 8600. Um, because for whatever reason, when you, you always lose one. Um, so if you fill the harvester, it's like eight six zero zero but then when you unload it <laughs> it's eight five nine nine yeah. um my parents have a real 80 series land cruiser they have a real real one it is definitely getting dark actually Oh, I didn't even. Re I thought paddock twelve was wheat, but it's canola. 
Because we harvested 10, didn't we? Yeah, we did. Uh, What's, yeah. What the fuck's 15 then? I don't think I've ever even been on 15. It's wheat. 15's wheat as well. Uh, no, they have a petrol. I'm going to go for a quick drive down there. I'm just taking the biggest tractor on the farm down here to have a look. <laughs> that doesn't take me in there. Where's the gateway to that paddock? Oh no, that, that paddock's ready as well. Oh, okay. The gateway's down on the main road, it's a double. One of them's got a double in. We're going to be doing a jank house U turn here. Yeah, give me a second. I've got to do a U turn, you know. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> I just had to spin around. just seen the car that I assume you were talking to that pulled right up to your trailer. Yeah. Yep. They don't really care about us on the road. Nah. I, pref I preferred the AI in um, FS13 because you could actually just ram it out of the way. Yeah, you actually could. It was like fight back at the AI. Yeah. But then if I think back to FS11, you'd be harvesting your field and all see a car driving through it because it was an AI that just... Ah, uh, yeah, lost. yeah. I didn't play 11. I get what you're saying, Lou. Yeah, it was... Um, 11 was all right. I'm pretty sure 11 was the first one that had animals in. Mm, it's possible. Yeah. Yeah, I'm pretty sure there was a massive cow on the cover of Eleven. Hmm. Oops. You fool? Yeah. Okay. Gonna be right. Nope. Yeah. Once we've finished harvesting these couple of pace, we might have to look into a different harvester. Yeah, we could probably upgrade. So that's just how we're gonna have to do it for now. Yeah. I've got a quite nice um, fent mod harvester which has a um, a PTO and attacher on the back of it so you can drag a baler behind it yeah for some reason twitch isn't telling me who's f all these new followers so thanks drone for the follow and cool o pin for some reason twitch isn't updating me which is always good yeah I haven't seen any notifications come through at all no, I'll have to look at it after. I played around with a lot of settings, I probably disabled it to be honest. Oh, I think you can actually make it so that you have to approve the notifications as they come through. Either that or can. It was working, but I haven't streamed with Twitch for a while and then I got all those layers. 
I did all the layers and all that and I've probably just disabled it I just went and looked at the emails that's how come I figured it out that I had oh. new followers That must have put me over a hundred followers for Twitch actually. So thanks for that guys. Um on your stream at the moment for me it says five It says what? Followers ninety nine. Oh. So we need one more follow guys. No, nope, it's a hundred and one. Oh. Well, there you go. Frost just um, did a status update. I appreciate the love, guys. anymore oh okay it literally doesn't have the power to start moving again on this hill I honestly think that harvest is struggling to power power the header to be honest yeah that's what it'll be I'm gonna have to um, drive up to the top and start from the top again it's all right if I don't stop but I just had to stop at the corner and it's um, couldn't quite get going again how much you got in there Oh, I'm only on thirty-nine percent. Okay. That's better. The map pretty much looks like England. Yeah, it, it's from the UK. This map, so um, it's definitely based somewhere in the UK. So I'm not exactly sure where, but it's definitely got that vibe. Jay Z has been following for a week and five days a week and five days that must have been when I about started streaming on Twitch I'd imagine yeah I think it was I think I've been following your YouTube channel for a few months at least um, I believe this map is meant to be set in Wales because I have seen a sign down in the town somewhere that says welcome to Wales you pay more attention than I do well it's only because I was heading straight for it <laughs> <laughs> oh that's good that's what I want to hear one more um one more load from you should pretty much fill this trailer. Yeah, I think so. I like the way the harvesters don't just drive straight through the um, rows of straw anymore. They actually drive up and over it. Yeah. That um, sunset's getting a little bit darker. You 
Yeah, Australia has a lot more space than the UK. You've got, like, territories in Australia that are bigger than the entire UK, don't you? <laughs> Probably. I'm not very good at that sort of... I don't do history and shit like that. But, um, we do have well, territory. Well, geology. Yeah, same thing. <laughs> I, it's late and I just... I don't even care. If that involves school, I don't really want to know about it. Yeah, fair enough. What percentage are you on now? Full. 100. I was just like full as soon as I asked. Hopefully I'll actually be able to get started again. This is a valid point. Oh, if not I'll just reverse, turn the cutter off, then start driving and turn it back on again. Yeah. Um, when you unloaded this the other day, it was at the main bit of the farm, wasn't it? Yep. Okay, I'm full. Yeah, just under that pit underneath the... It was that thing yeah. where we could turn the lights on and stuff, wasn't it? Yep, that was it. And just as I thought, I cannot... Uh, how much did you actually empty? Um... Up 40%. So you're still 60% full? Yeah. Okay. That's alright, I've managed to get going again. Very good. At a whopping 4 kilo. <laughs> yeah, that thing's very fast. Oh, it's alright going downhill. Yeah, that head is just too much power for it. It's the issue. Uh, what mods have we got on the map? Um, a heap of front end loader attachments, some mowers, this John Deere and another John Deere. What else have we got? The Hilux, the Baylor. There's not really a whole lot of mods to be honest. No, there's not a huge amount. Um, is there any class stuff? Yeah, the, just the, the class mowers. mowers and the rake. But that's about right. it. I'm not a... I like mods, but it's. I also like to find good quality ones as well. And I mean, a lot of the stuff that's already in the game is usable and I like anyway, so... Um, yeah. It's just something that we're kind of adding to this map as we go, to be honest. Well, I am anyway. Yeah, I made a couple of suggestions today, but Tom was like, nah, they're shit. It wasn't that they were shit, I did like them. Um, I just felt that they were too big for this map. If they had been on that map that I originally streamed, then I probably actually would have gone for them. Yeah, I know. The, um... They... I've never seen any... Any implements or anything by that manufacturer in New Zealand before so yeah um, some of my mo mods are on the discord um, frost not all of them they're pretty much the ones that me and Jay-Z have added recently we've just been linking them there so they're easy to download what percentage are you on uh, 75 okay you should be nearly full by the end of this row I would think so. I would agree. Three hundred and six horsepower.
You're full? Yep. Are you mm -hmm. hopping in or? Yep. Yep. Changing in your clothes and everything? Completely invisible on my screen. Yeah, I've definitely done something to my settings because one of the mirrors keep flashing from dark to visible and I definitely my bumped mirrors. something. Yeah, my mirrors are showing like what's actually happening. I'm currently watching through the mirror the harbour trailer. Oh, oh, that's a bit blasphemous there. You've got an Agco weight on a John Deere tractor. Yeah, what about it? Is that they're a crime? Like, oh, I'm pretty sure they're like farming rivals, aren't they? Wouldn't have a clue. I don't. Even, I've never even seen that brand before. Um, I think Agco is kind of like a parent. Company Are you full? That, um, I was full. They only put eight four one four in here. It decreased. Eight four one. F what the hell? Consider we got eight five nine nine a little bit ago. Well, I was on like ninety eight percent, I think. So. Who knows? Oh, we don't need those on anymore. How much straw do you think we're actually going to need? I might start just um, blowing it out now. Instead. I would do that whole paddock. Okay. And then we'll just blow it everywhere on the next one. and Because once we do our first bale, we can sort of start to think of how much each paddock we're going to get out of as well. Yeah, I know that straw creates bales almost twice as fast as grass does yeah we just got to kind of figure out the size of the paddocks and stuff and that's just something we'll learn as we do it yep I got a surprise for you though. Have you? Hmm. I've potentially oh, you're, spoiled it. By yeah, I was about to say you're probably actually looking at the stream. I didn't even think about it. <laughs> uh. yeah. Like literally, as you were saying, I've got a surprise for you. I was glancing at your stream and I was like, hmm, he's driving a combine. Yeah, that's what I was taking me a little bit of time in that last, um, when I was picking up that load, I was deciding which one to friggin' buy. Alright. Did you just buy a combine, or did you get another header? No, just the co combine. It should pull. It goes with that one anyway, so it should do that fine. Oh, yeah. What brand is it? Case. It's like two hundred eighty-five thousand dollars. This one was, I think. Oh yeah. I should move it better than that one that you're using, anyway. Was this the um, smallest Massey? Yeah. Ah, well, there's your problem. I believe that is the smallest. Uh, that was the one that came on the farm. I actually didn't change it. Oh, okay. I didn't upgrade it at all. That one was a stock one. Well, uh, this one has a bigger capacity to 10 ton. 10.5 uh, or something, I think it was. Yeah, it's an upgrade compared to this piece of shit. <laughs> it's not that bad, but yeah. No, 
It's not that bad. It's not. It's done as well. <laughs> am I full grown Aussie? <laughs> yes, I am. What is so cool, Frost? This harvester actually sounds a bit nicer to be. I'm sure it's got more power too. <laughs> yeah. The only thing is, it seems to be angled rather high. The hmm. eh, it'll be fine. Ah, oh, you like the tractor's frost, okay? <laughs> you bloody river. <laughs> uh, stone the flame and crows, I guess. Hey, sword. Sad. You're a bit late. Uh, you are a little bit, yeah. Oh, I went to pull out. Yeah, it's always funny seeing an enormous combine get shunted down the road by a piddly little car. Yeah, I went to pull out and I was like, oh, that's not such a good idea. No. Welcome to the stream, dude. The stream has about 20 minutes left in it anyway, so you are late, but you've got a little bit of time. A little bit of time to chill in here. Welcome. Nice it's called Riverton on the Sea. That's what it says welcome to. There's someone behind Honkam at me, I'm pretty sure. Yep. <laughs> you can get fucked, you little bitch. <laughs> like, seriously. I'm looking at the sign. What does that say? Please drive carefully. Well, they haven't met me then. They haven't been watching me drive then either. <laughs> mm. Um... There's that train again. I haven't seen the train yet, so I'm just gonna watch it on your stream. Something actually I really enjoy about this map. Um. Oh, look at that. They've actually used a proper, whoops, an actual British train instead of a random piece of crap. Yeah. I'm now stuck down here by myself, I'm just going to teleport, but that's okay. How full are you? Uh, 33%. Yeah, that one's a lot bigger. You just woke up and got some breakfast. Australians drive on the left of the road, mate. Yeah, they drive on the left, mate. <laughs> we drive on the correct side, mate. You bloody cunt. Oh. <laughs> that is like my favourite word. Yeah, it's... I always find it how funny... I just find it funny how, um... Like, it's... In America and stuff, it's like the most outrageous thing you could possibly say. But in New Zealand and Australia, we say it, you know, as part of everyday conversation. I know it like literally has no, unless it depends on what context you use it in. But it, like, it's really not offensive at all because everyone just says it. 
Yeah. Uh, Frost is from the UK, I'm guessing. I'm pretty sure I knew that, actually. Yeah, I think um, there's actually quite a lot of countries that do still drive on the left-hand side of the road, um, but UK, Australia and New Zealand are the three biggest. The Caribbean. I'm enjoying the way I can power up this hill now at full speed. Oh, that's good. Should have gone and put the baler on the back of the little ferg. Yeah. <laughs> does that thing even have a PTO on the back? Oh, I'm sure it does. It's not that old. Yeah, true. Yes, it does, because remember I towed the tether around with it. Oh, that's right. So, yeah, it does. Oh, that was the wrong button. Tell you what I might try and install is a bail counter mod. Yeah, not a bad idea. There's something, that, there's something that I do actually enjoy knowing is how many there are. We're going to have a shit ton of straw, I can already tell. Tell you what, you wouldn't want to really do round bales in here. Absolutely not. <laughs> It'd be like just watching the hay bale race. No, if you angle it right, they're normally pretty good, but. Well, there's like almost no part of this field where you could safely drop a round bale off. Yeah, there's a lot of it, it wouldn't matter really what angle, to be honest. Are you full? Nah, I'm only two-thirds full so far. Yeah, just let me know and I'll race back to the other John Deere. Aussie slogan is the best slogan, yep. I'll probably finish this field without needing to be in, to be honest. I've got about one pass left. Okay. Pass a little triangle. Sounds good. Do you have Discord drone? This John Deere's got power in it. I don't know why you were saying yesterday it didn't. Well, it didn't. It didn't? No. Was you using the no. cruise control? No. It was, um... It was just the... The three mowers that it was having an issue with. Yeah, it's telling the bailer fine. Sitting around 20. <laughs> Too busy to even play. Too busy to play, but you can watch. That's good. Jeez, that's a bit rough back there. The whole tractor's shaking. Yeah, there's certain parts of this field which are very... Bumpy. Yeah, she was bumpy, all right. Oops. Bloody oath, mate. You, what's wrong? 
Nothing. I'm just unloading into the trailer. How much did you have? About... I think I finished with about 80%. Oh, okay. So you would have needed um, filling at some stage anyway. Yeah, the thing about this harvester is it still only just sticks out beyond the um, edge of the header, so... Do you know what I'm thinking? I'm thinking that headers for the next class up, the next model. Yeah, it will be. It's for the... This header is the widest one in the yeah, base game, but it's yeah. also the only one that has the built-in trailer. Yeah, so, so I, got the, I got the case that was a, the smaller model from that one. That's why it only oh, just yeah. fits. Oh, well, that's all good. But it has more power. Yes, it definitely does. Um, so which paddock is next? 15. Can you tow that trailer with that harvester? Yep. Oh, actually, that's a good question, because I think one of the cases doesn't have a... Uh, doesn't look like it, actually. No, it hasn't got one of the... Um, Hitch points for a trailer. Standby. Yeah, actually, this is the reason why I don't use this case in single player because you can't drag the trailers around with it. Yeah, full full time apprentice plumber is a pretty is pretty tiring. Yeah, I recommend. Yeah, I should have um, got the next harvester up. I could have afforded it actually if I had asked you for a hundred thousand dollars. True. Yeah, I've still got four hundred thousand. I forgot that you had money. I don't even know why you gave me so much money, to be honest. Because I'd like to share it around, that's why. Oh, that's very kind. I'm a fair person, I try to be. But I'll start paying you $50 from now on, just at a time, so it feels like a job. <laughs> fair enough. Who put that wall there? You crash? I wouldn't call it a crash. <laughs> I would think it's probably more of a nudge than anything. Oh, okay. I'm sure how I've parked will piss somebody off on the road. Yep, he's already honking. Oh, no, wrong button. Yep. There we go, put the beacons on so it's official. We're going to have the same issue where there's nowhere to park, so we're just going to have to park in the crop. Fair enough. $50 is my weekly wage. That seems a bit low. Yeah, it does. But I guess in a way, at least it's some kind of money, though. Can you get in here? Like, what's going on here? Oh, I'm just having fun with the locals. Yeah, this map definitely wasn't really made for a big harvest or harvesting in general, to be honest. No. Because there's nowhere to put implements inside a paddock if I have to do that. Well, yeah, I think... I think the bloody AI on this map probably are even worse than the AI in OCRP. <laughs> it's possible. They don't annoy me as much as on here though, because on OCRP, if you're in a pursuit, that's when it pisses me off. Yeah, that's true. You get a bit more? <laughs> I 
I should hope you get a bit more than fifty dollars a week to be a plumber. Shit job, shit wage, I guess. I don't know. Because this just looked stupid. What's up? Um, if you have the combine on the mode where it doesn't leave the straw swath, uh, it you know it blows it out the back, but then it just vanishes. But if you've got the chopped straw mod, then it um, actually like coats the ground in straw. Ah, uh, okay. Which, I mean, it does nothing in the game except make it look slightly more realistic. Yeah. And then you just, like, cultivate it into the field. Matter of fact, a plumber is the highest weekly wage in a trade. I did not know that. Frederick, welcome to the stream. Can you play? Uh, I'm actually about to end the stream, so that would be a negative, my friend. <laughs> Zero dollars is your weekly wage. <laughs> oh, that's cool. I just noticed like, when I poured the um, wheat in here, it went into this bin here. Well, I think it did. Mm, maybe it didn't. Then. Maybe I'm. Uh, you'll see it on the stream. Um, I could be wrong. I feel like it did go in there though. Is there a way to get in your paddock from the back here? Yes, there is. Fuck yeah. Ah. Oh. It's, yeah, it's, it's only a single gate though. I think the stream has sort of. Well, for me, it's about 30 seconds behind now because it buffered a couple of times. Oh, okay. So I just saw what you're talking about with the grain in the bucket. Full time plumber gets like $900 a week. Yeah, that sounds about right. When is my next stream? I don't know. Probably tomorrow night. I hate the lights on this thing. Oh, yeah. I love this tractor model, I just hate the lights. Yeah, they don't look nice. What the hell's happening on fit number um, three? I think it is the one to my left at the moment. It looks like it's you mean been, sixteen? Um, yeah. Which way am I pointing? Sixteen. Yeah. Field, yep. Field sixteen. Looks like it's got bloody crop circles on it. Well. I feel like it's potatoes or something, and um, it's got like the runs through it where people have driven and like for irrigation and stuff. I felt like it was what was kind of going on. Yeah, that's definitely potatoes. Yeah, that probably. Is. I haven't actually done a lot with potatoes, and I I really want to, but it's so time consuming with one person that I actually would be willing to give it a go with a couple of people. Yeah, it's um. That's one of the slower crops, that's for sure. But I, I do want to buy that paddock. Which we will do eventually. I wonder how much it costs. 
If it's like all the other paddocks, probably $80,000 or something. They're pretty cheap. Yeah, that's not too bad. There are some maps where the prices of the paddocks are just outrageous. This one is 37000 I brought it. <laughs> I mean, you can't say no to 37000 Uh, No, not for a piece of land that size. That's a pretty decent sized paddock. Half the work's already done for us as well. Yeah, all we have to do is wait for it to grow. Although, we are going to have to save up for a potato harvester now. I think we'll just cultivate and plough it and that'll be another time because I don't think we'll afford to... I don't think we'll afford that stuff right now because I think cows are the main focus at the moment. Yeah, that's true. I think... Uh, pigs might... No, pigs don't even need potatoes. They take sugar beet. Yeah. I wonder if you can feed the cow sugar beet because I know you can in real life because we do. Um, not in the game. I've never tried to do it in the game. Yeah, no, it doesn't let you. It only lets you feed them what they require in the animal menu. Mm. All right, guys, that is going to do it for this stream. Um, we'll pretty much continue where we left off from now in the next one. So thanks for hanging out with us and chilling, and I will see you next time. If I can figure this stuff out.